Hey guys, Dan here with Elk Shape. We are checking out the Hellbender. This is brand new 2022 from Kufaru. This is kind of like the Striker XL on steroids. And so Kufaru got a lot of great feedback from their customers and they listened, which is huge. And they made these adjustments. And I just gotta say, this pack is made in the USA. Let's dig in. 2200-ish cubic inches. That's 36.8 liters for those that do liters. So I just put it on my duplex frame. So the Nalgene, that's extra. I put that on there. This small pouch, I put that on there. Uh, this large pouch, I put that on there. So what you can make Kufaru packs into anything you want them to, which is awesome. A couple of hot spots or highlights for me just on first glance is that they, this little stash bag, this is like from the Bane concept. And so I can put my puffy, when I can peel layers off, I can peel rain gear, I can stuff that I want to store quick and I don't have to get into the inside pack. So if you're glassing from your master vantage, you got your puffy on, you spot your quarry, you need to make a move, you know you're gonna get hot and sweaty, peel your layer, stuff it in there, good to go. So we have compression in here that we can cinch anything down that we need to inside here. We also can pop those off. And we have these side components here on each side, they're matching with compression. This is where you're gonna put a tripod, uh, for me, sometimes I might need to put a GoPro over the shoulder for filming or something, which is huge. So in the front of the bag here is a zippered pouch. You can get in here. It's got the key hook. You can store any essentials that you need to get to right then and there, again, without having to get into the main compartment. So um, not sure exactly what that would look like for you, but for me, probably some TP in the morning. Just grab that real quick. Also uh, a good place for your cell phone or anything that you need to get to quick and easy. And then obviously I have this accessory large pouch bag in here. I could put whatever I needed, snacks, snacks, and more snacks. Let's get into the main compartment. The zipper is gonna come all the way down here. There's a ton of room in here for you to store whatever you need to all your essential, um, you could potentially even run some overnight gear, maybe a tarp, maybe a shelter of some sort, a sleeping bag, water filtration, whatever goodies that you need. I'm gonna be running a first aid kit in here, my game bags, knives, things like that, kill kit in the bottom, things that I don't need to get to until I need to. But this is gonna be an awesome compartment to hold layers as well. And again, this, to me, this is the ultimate elk hunting day pack. I'm gonna zip this up. And then this is kind of where you still have the huge win for the striker. So this folds down and we can put whatever we need in here and bring it back to the frame. So packing a camp bag, I have the Kufaro camp bag. It's got all my spike camp gear in it. So it's got my TP tent. It's got my sleeping bag and my pad. It's got my stove. It's got my food and water, everything. I can find a place to spike camp bag out, set the spike camp bag down, zip everything back up on my way. And then I can come back in the dark and set up camp. I always like to spend daylight hours hunting, not setting up shelter. Many of you do not run Nalgene bottles like I do. You use a bladder well they got you as well so here's your port to get into the bag and you can run that right down here along right or left depending on your preference and then you're gonna store your water bladder in this compartment right here and that's pretty handy obviously this can come in or come out but I usually put all my tags license all the things that I need to my hunter safety proof you know if you need to run into a game warden or if you need to punch your tag because you just killed this is generally where I keep all my tags are important stuff, including my inReach Mini. Your bag's gonna come with 10 extra K clips. And so what you'll be able to do is set this up however you want. Now, I generally don't like putting my bow on my backpack, but there's definitely times where it's inevitable. Riding a dirt bike on a single track or riding an e-bike, or if you've killed and you got to hike all your meat out, sometimes your bow's gotta go on your back. And so I always set up straps to where I can go all the way over the top Every duplex frame has all these attachments to where you can kind of make the pack fit what you need. And I tell you what, I'd like to have this set up for when I actually do kill an elk because I want to pull the hind quarter off, put it in a game bag, put it right here, slide it over the top, buckle it down, and then I can put my bow on the outside, strap it down, double trekkers. So for safety, especially if you're going uphill, downhill, four wheel drive. So then the meat is secured closest to my body up against the frame. 
this is secured. I'm not getting blood all over my stuff, which doesn't bother me, but when you hunt back to back to back multiple states or whatever, it's nice to not have a bloody pack, especially if you're in G-Bear country. And the nice thing with this new material here, it's called X-Pack, and it's really easy to clean and get you know blood off of your pack which is so important. Most Kufaru packs will come with this little doodad where you can end up putting like the cam in the bottom here. So my cam can fit in there, goes up over the top, straps down secure. Rifle guys, same deal. I've seen a lot of rifle guys. You can accessorize your pack. You can get the Sherman pocket, uh, the guide lid, the Bane. You can do small, medium, large pouches. You can do the Nalgene. There's the thing that I like about Kufaro is the frame itself is the greatest frame on the market, 100%. But more important than that is that your pack is not one size fits all. You can customize it to fit your system. You just need to tinker with your system now to figure out what that's gonna look like. I'm going to use this for bear hunting in the spring, load it all up with all my goodies and my shelters and do some overnights and really start to pick this thing apart. But for ultimate day hunting slash spike camp elk hunting, this doubles as a day pack that I can put my camp bag in the middle and I can really haul out some serious animal back to the truck, which is really important to me. So this is gonna be like the Striker XL on steroids. This is gonna be a great tool. This is gonna be my go-to pack in the fall of 2022 and you saw it here first.